Well, hey there, it's Catherine from CatherinePooler.com. I'm doing a little creating in my stamp room today, uh, getting ready for our live event this coming Saturday, November, what is it, the 3rd? <laughs> At Craft Habit in Raleigh. If you're anywhere near Raleigh, North Carolina, this weekend, we hope you will pop in and hang out with us. We are gonna be revealing our new product line um, so we have new, several new products coming this weekend. One is a whole new product line. <laughs> if you can't make it on um, Saturday, we are not going to leave you out. No worries. We will be uh, posting several different videos on Sunday, introducing you to the new product line, and then everything will hit the shop on Monday morning. So stay tuned. <clears throat> I have a color palette because I'm going to make a quick little card for you. Well, hey, Allison and Angela, how's it going? Angela, did you say you're coming? Um, so I wanted to pull you guys in and show you what I'm doing. So when we go to Craft Habit this weekend, we're going to do a little make and take. So we're going to do some cute little gift card type projects here. Oh, Karen, thank you. Yes, I am almost at 50K. Can you believe that? <laughs> and Karen, you sent me an email reminding me to pull winners for the share of the video over on Facebook from the other day. So I will do that this afternoon. All right, Angela, you're coming this weekend. That is exciting. So what I did here, I'm getting some gift card gift cards ready. So I cut my eight and a half by 11 cardstock in half at five and a half. And then I scored it in half at two and three quarters. Okay, and then I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna cut it at two and three quarters, two and three quarters, and then two and three quarters. And I have three cute little gift card <clears throat> cards <laughs> that are two and three quarter inches square. <clears throat> Excuse my coughing. I went out to dinner with some girlfriends last night and something went down the wrong way. And you know how that happens and then you can't breathe for a minute and then you cough forever. I'm still coughing today. <laughs> that was super fun. No, it wasn't. It wasn't fun at all. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Anybody have some fun Halloween plans tonight? So my girls are getting older. So I think the two younger ones, I don't think they're going out to trick or treat. Our youngest, Eva, is in eighth grade. And then the oldest one is off at college. And if anybody is familiar with, oh, I'm still using this icing on the cake. Anyone is familiar with um, UNC, University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill? They have kind of a famous party on Franklin Street for Halloween. <laughs> Sometimes it gets a little wild. So since my daughter is going to UNC, I think she's gonna be out on Franklin Street tonight, so wish us luck. <laughs> I hope she has a good time, but doesn't run into any trouble, if you know what I'm saying. You know what, this, do you guys see what just happened? This is icing on the cake. <laughs> and I put it on my midnight ink pad. So, whoops, I just stamped that in black instead of brown. Oh well, we're cool. Duke fan! <laughs> <clears throat> So Susan and I and another friend, we are going to dress up as Heathers and we're going to go down the street, hang out in the cul-de-sac for a bit, and then go to our friend's haunted house that uh, some of the high school kids put on every year. Hopefully I'll get a kid or two of mine to join me, but I don't know. They're too cool for school. So we'll see. <laughs> so I'm going to grab my blender pen. I have my cute little coffee cup already stamped. I'm just going to pick up lit uh, ink straight from that ink pad. And then I'm gonna color in this little guy here, like the little sleeve. Can you guys see okay? Should I zoom in a little? And then a little extra peppermint scrub, which is basically, it's a very similar color to rose petals. It's just darker. And I'm gonna color in my heart. So I'm using spa colors here. <clears throat> and they are great for fall cards like this. And then I'm just running my tip off so I can change to the next color. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my rose petals on all of them at once. Okay, and I'm just using regular Catherine Puller cardstock 
So with blender pens, they are wet. They're basically a clear marker. So you wanna go light on how much you're coloring over because your paper will start to pill if you do too much. And I could go with a little sketchy look here so it just looks like a, I don't know. There, that looks cute. All right, now I'm gonna do all my peppermint scrubs. You know, um, the look where you just, you color in but you don't do solid, so it's just kind of sketchy. I think that would be a really fun look with this little coffee cup. Oh my gosh, so cute. All right, then I'm gonna run it off on scratch paper until it runs clear. <clears throat> you like the color choices? Thank you. So I'll have to uh, post on my Instagram story so you guys can see my costume. I just went to Goodwill last night and got a blazer and a skirt so I could be one of the Heathers. <laughs> And then, of course, I had to get in bed last night and watch it because I haven't watched it in years and years. I've got about 40 minutes left. Maybe I can get the rest in tonight, but I got the gist. Okay, then we'll use a little green tea. So this is just simple, just a little stamping, a little coloring. I could cut these cute little coffee cups out and <clears throat> pop them up on my project. I could add layers and all kinds of fun things. We're just going real simple. And then I'm gonna take Daydream and I'm gonna do just little dots, little polka dots on the green tea. So little mini cards like this, you guys have any ideas of how I can use these or how you can use these? Obviously at uh, holiday time, they're great for adorning gifts, gift bags, things like that. But like during a time like this, I could just drop it in someone's mailbox just to brighten their day. How cute is that? <laughs> All right, so that's it. I just wanted to pop in and do a quick live and show you how to cut a bunch of little mini tags or mini cards all at once. And uh, maybe this is gonna be cut off and put on a bigger card because look what happened. <laughs> Never fails, I always mess up somewhere. <laughs> so color palette, I love this color palette. I think it looks amazing and it's really great for fall and holidays and um, masculine cards even. All right. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you guys again soon.